the number one concept that I think people should walk away with is that CMMC is an assessment program for an existing set of cybersecurity requirements. The existing set of cybersecurity requirements is contained in a document called NIST Special Publication 800171. It's 110 requirements split into 14 families and categories. We'll link the video that explains all this, but those requirements have existed for years and years. CMMC is a program that the DOD has stood up to attempt to assess people's implementation of those requirements. Why would they do that? Well, there were more and more data breaches. There, were, there was more and more proof that over the years, they were not implementing the requirements the way that they had claimed. And so there was just a mounting wave of evidence until finally Congress directed the DOD to go evaluate defense contractors to say, what the heck is going on around here? We've got all these self-attestations that are saying, oh yeah, we're doing this, we're doing this, we're doing all these, all these requirements, but every time we build a jet, kind of China gets a carbon copy of it. Like we know that there that things are not being implemented the way that they're being claimed. So what the heck is going on? We got to go check people's work. So CMMC is not a new set of requirements. It is an assessment program for pre-existing requirements. Problem is they didn't say that. And so when CMMC came out, you know, basically in writing in 2020, the government said, we're going to come assess you under CMMC. And people said, what the heck is that? This is new. What are these requirements? They even went so far, the DOD did, to take the requirements in 800 and relabel them as if they were something new, which I spent 18 months trying to you know, yell at the top of my lungs, don't do that. If you relabel those requirements, people are going to think that they're, they're new and they are identical. Now, that has since been corrected in CMMC 2.0, but the damage was already done. People still view it as a distinctly separate set of requirements. And it's not, it's just there as a program to evaluate existing requirements. Why did the DOD take an existing standard and relabel it as something new? I, there, I don't know what the reason is, but there is no good reason why they would do that. Because if you were to think ahead as to what that would do, we know that it, this happened. You're just going to confuse people. They had to walk that decision back. Now under CMMC 2.0, remember, they were calling it 2.0 as if it's different from 1.0. It isn't different. It is still NIST 800-171 under the hood. And now if you go read the documentation, it even says in the documentation, this is from 171, this is from one. It's literally a, a wrapper around 800-171 as it should be. It is a program assessing 800-171. It does not change or modify the requirements. So why do they do it? I don't know if anybody knows, they are certainly not alone in the trend of relabeling frameworks because it just seems like every industry and regulating body does this, but fundamentally those controls are all the same. So as a quick side note, 800-171, the pre-existing requirements are not unique to the DOD. This is not a, a DOD set of requirements. Those are a set of requirements that apply to all federal agency contractors uh, regardless. And it has to do with the nature of the data that you deal with. Now, it hasn't caught up to all the other agencies at the time of this conversation. DOD is really the first ones. Ironically, DOD is actually way ahead of the rest of the government. They're, they're moving much faster than the rest of the government, uh, even though it feels like things are moving very slowly. So if DHS or IRS or Department of Commerce wanted to assess their contractors, against 800 then they would have to come up with a program to assess their implementation. And they don't have to use CMMC because that's DOD's program. Now they could, or they could come up with C triple MC or MMMC or whatever they want to call it because they have a program to assess the requirements. So we could end up in a situation where we have 14 different kinds of CMMC, or we have 14 different agencies using one CMMC, the requirements are different from the assessment programs. Very key concept to remember.